Great leaders have not only vision and the ability to succeed, but they've got guts, intestinal fortitude, cojones, whatever you want to call it. And I've got it. I mean, who else in their right mind would go out in public in a green jacket like this on a Sunday afternoon? Uh, and I wear it on Friday during football seasons, too, on occasion. I can sit up here and separate myself from everyone on this, this platform by saying I'm a true outsider. And that's what this state needs right now. It doesn't need someone who's been associated with the Democrats or the Republicans. It needs someone who can come in with no baggage and no perceived baggage, with an open mind, with strong opinions, the willingness to share them and share some ideas that might be a little out there, and I've done so along the campaign trail so far. But we need someone who can offer something different. And as I said before, I'm not stupid or ignorant or naive enough to think I can do it alone. I have to surround myself with great people who know more about the issues, who know more about the political process and how government operates than I do. But I can do that. I've done it in business, and I can do it in politics and will do it when I'm elected governor. I want to thank you for coming out today because I think it's pretty easy to say that we're in agreement that we support good policy when it comes to keeping our waters and our land free or at least remotely free of pollution, cutting down on pollution. That's the easy thing to say. The tough thing is to look at ways we can move forward. The way I'm going to do it as governor is to look at things that make sense from not only an environmental standpoint but from a fiscal standpoint as well to make sure when we're investing in energy that it's creating jobs and that it's going to benefit the end user, not just a major corporation. Thank you.